Goa DSA India Summit with me is Suhail. He heads the talent and outreach programs for Google in India. Suhail, well, what do you do? Uh, so, talent and outreach programs is the team that, uh, in a nutshell, manages all of Google's relationships with campuses and students. It's really fantastic to be here. It's it's really been a phenomenal set of days, especially engaging with a set of students who are here. I was really impressed to see that a big chunk of them have already started developing their own apps out there. There are a lot of them who have already been uh, founders of their own startups and they're already working with their campuses to have an employability cell. So just there's so much that actually is going on with these students already in their campuses. What is it that it takes to be a Googler? I think the only bit that I would love to share with students and what they should also realize that it's not just enough in today's environment to be exposed to your academics and your studies. There's so much more that's actually going on in the world, uh, and especially in the tech space, things are changing and evolving so fast. So I think it's really important for students to stay in touch with that change, that impact on a constant basis. So what is it that we actually look for is what more are you doing beyond just your academics? So going out there, using technology to solve local community problems, staying in touch with other forums to see what's the current latest things that are going on in the technology space that they're studying in. So there's just so much more that they're doing and putting them to various more exposures and experiences outside of just your core academics. The other piece is that uh, I think engineers should realize today that they, when they're working on certain projects tomorrow, once they get employed, they're, it's not just a technical problem that they're solving. They're actually solving for a product that is actually working for millions of users and their challenges. So unless you've put yourself in various experiences, you will not know what's the challenge that the user is facing. Thus, how will I use technology to solve that? Okay. Today, I find a lot of students worrying about just the technical aspects, saying that I'll use this technical ability to build a certain product, yeah. but how will this solve for an actual problem that the user will have? That is key for any student. So make sure you put yourself in those experiences so then you know how you're actually going to use your academics and your knowledge to solve for that problem. There is also an assumption that Google hires only from the top institutions. Is that true? Uh, I got asked that a few times in the students as well. Definitely no. Uh, so if I have to actually put that out in bold. Um, uh, what we were sharing with the students is the various different avenues that we actually have out there for students to connect with us. One such avenue that we called out was the platform of CodeJam Kickstart. Uh, it's an online coding platform, freely available for any students. All you need is an internet connection to access it. So any student sitting anywhere in any corner of India could actually use that to actually showcase their coding abilities with us. That's one of the many opportunities. And in fact, I'm really delighted to say as part of, thanks to CodeJam Kickstart, we've actually made hires from campuses that we had never heard of or hired from before in the past. So definitely not limiting ourselves to just a few campuses to try and reach as many students out there as possible across India. In fact, we're seeing Indian students across the globe who are taking CodeJam Kickstart to actually connect with us. So, but anyone anywhere who's strong in their coding skills, we're looking for you. That's fantastic. How do you think engaging in such student communities builds a student's profile and chances of being hired? Oh, it's a good question. So imagine now a scenario where you've got 170 really charged set of students who's going to go out there to 100 plus colleges, spreading what they've learned here with at least 100, 200 set of students out there on their campuses, trying to identify local community challenges and problems, using the education and knowledge that they have to try and solve those community challenges, be it through an app, be it through a web page, what have you, but using technology importantly to solve an actual local community problem. So by the time you're actually getting hired, there's already a direct exposure saying, I know what user, I know what kind of a product, I know what kind of a technical solution could solve that for them. That exposure for me is key when we're hiring. So it's not just which campus you came from and the grades that you got, that's great. But we're looking way more than that. Engagement in the community. Absolutely, yeah. So I think forums like these and communities like these, engaging in such formats to actually go and use your education to make community impacts, I think are the best way forward. Working with, let's say, open source projects, those are again phenomenal examples of how I think students could sharpen their skills beyond just their academics. Absolutely. It was great talking to you, Suhail. Fantastic. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks and bye.